Good afternoon. Well, I'm sending out this video to let you know that we have decided to cancel worship for tomorrow, July 19th. I know this is uh, kind of late notice, but uh, news comes quick and things change quickly uh, right now in these times. As you may know, we've had a handful of congregation members, well, really, I guess, literally two hands full that I know of, uh, who have tested positive recently for COVID. Only a couple of those uh, covenant partners were in worship and they developed their symptoms uh, uh, much later in those weeks that they attended. And uh, it doesn't appear that our worship services have really been a source of, of transmission. And y'all have been good to follow the, the recommended protocols. But uh, on top of that, um, I found out this week uh, that I met with someone. Uh, we were wearing masks, we were eight feet apart. Uh, and uh, we met with doors open and, and we're following all the right protocols. But later in the week, that person discovered that uh, he or she um, was, had been potentially exposed and they got tested and it came back positive. So I've scheduled a test for myself as well. Uh, that person feels fine um, and I don't have any symptoms, but it would be the protocol in any organization for someone who's awaiting test results uh, to, to not show up. Um, that's what uh, we expect. I'm sure that's what uh, uh, all of your businesses and organizations expect as well. Uh, so that kind of puts us in an awkward position since the preachers had the only speaking part in our in-person worship services since we started them again. Um, we thought about on session uh, just having people gather to watch the YouTube video, but uh, with all of the factors take, taken into consideration, uh, the prevailing sentiment was that we should cancel tomorrow and uh, then talk again at our session meeting on Monday. Um, I should have my results uh, midday Monday, and we can decide whether or not to, to meet by Zoom or meet in person, um, also depending upon sim symptoms, of course. But uh, we are not going to meet tomorrow um, just uh, to do the, the, the responsible policy thing. Um, I know it's, it's fairly unlikely that I would transmit something from the pulpit all the way to the pews, but we still want to follow the right protocols. Uh, so be in prayer for session. Be in prayer. Well, thank you for being in prayer for me too, but uh, especially be in prayer for uh, those who are, are suffering through this disease and um, I know you have been, and uh, be in prayer uh, for, uh, for those who are on the front lines of fighting it. Um, things are, are a bit scary, but uh, we know that, uh, that God has equipped us to care for one another and to pray for one another and to proclaim the gospel of Jesus, whether we are gathered or scattered. And hopefully we can be gathered more and more uh, again soon. Um, and that we can see some, some miracles happen and uh, hopefully uh, our own responsibility uh, can play into uh, some of those works that we hope that God uh, will fulfill among us and around us. So again, uh, we will not have worship tomorrow, July 19th, uh, but I do look forward to seeing you as soon as possible.